Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I haven't uploaded anything for about two weeks now and I feel like today is a good day to go out for a walk and that's what I'm going to do because it is getting warmer here. Um, look at this. So it is sunny finally and the snow is currently melting so... I think the roads are slippery to be honest I haven't gone out that much I just go out to do some groceries and that's it I go back um I'm kind of afraid to like slip or fall because I'm not really used to this um I think it's gonna stick around but hopefully the snow will fully melt and you know I can't wait to go outside but yeah it's getting warmer and I think it's gonna be spring soon here and um, today I'm thinking of going to Rakvere Castle and the bull statue here. These are the two few things that you can do here in Rakvere. Um, I cannot think much like what else I can do. Um, I've been there last week with Ivar and we just like you know walked around for less than an hour. It was really cold and I wasn't like able to bring my camera to take a video because it was really freezing and it will be hard for me to vlog anyways. I'm not going inside the castle. I don't think that there's no point right now because like I've read reviews online that some of the activities there are still closed. So yeah, I think I'm going there on summer where there are medieval stuff going on. But right now I'm just going to show you how the castle and the bull statue looks like. So. Let's go! It is not even mandatory to wear masks outside here and obviously as you can see there are no people so social distancing is not really a problem here i think i'm just the one right now oh there are people at my back there are like two people but anyways um i don't have to wear a mask here while like when i'm outside i just have to wear a mask it is mandatory i think um in the supermarkets or public transportations or malls but like walking in the road it is not really um mandatory um but i don't think if it's even mandatory i just realized like i just remembered that when i was at the supermarket yesterday there were people who are not wearing a mask but anyways most of them are wearing so yeah currently i'm walking on ice oh my god there are some um places that the ice hasn't like fully melted so you have to be careful but yeah they put this stuff like the black sand and shit here just to help you walk on the ice The only one who are struggling to walk on ice um, I almost slept to be honest um, right now I'm going up I'm just trying to find a way how to get to that road without like you know dealing with the ice and yeah I'm almost there so this is icy it's very um, slippery so I have to go up there just to vlog oh my god okay let's try to do this so this thing, you know, um, I'm so excited for summer because there are lounges there as you can see. Oh my god, what what am I supposed to do there? Sunbathe? Is it possible to sunbathe in public here? Let's find out. Who knows? I might walk around on summer and see people who are like half naked or something with their like bikini or just their tank tops on. Let's see. I made it to the bottom of the stairs and I'm going up so this part is not snowy so it's easy to go up um, I almost slept again going here but anyways 
it is a good, still a good day to walk and I just found out that there's a Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi outside, which is cool. Okay, I hate stairs to be honest, but you know, I haven't gone out much, so it's a good exercise, I guess. I just got up and I'm really tired. It's not a long flight of stairs, but I hate stairs. I've mentioned that a couple of times already. So this is the Rakverelinus. I'm not sure if that's correct, um, but this is the Rakvere castle. Um, it is not what you expect, like a Disney castle or stuff, but yeah, it's still beautiful. Um, I've heard that there are some activities some, sometimes here, but I don't think so right now because of coronavirus. But the entrance fee in going inside the castle is 11 euros and 9 euros for student. And um, if you're like going in um, with like a group or a family, you can get a bigger discount than that. But yeah, anyways, I think I will visit this with Ivar in spring or summer. As you can see, it's windy. I don't even know if you can hear me or something, but this is the view right now. It is really beautiful. I'll definitely continue my journey and just go there. I guess the another route is not like I think it was safer to go here than the other one, to be honest. So if you're bringing a car, you can bring your car up here and just park somewhere if you want to go to the castle. Oh my god, it is muddy. Oh, oh my god, I thought I'm gonna, I think I, I just made my shoes dirty, but anyways, I can always clean that. There's another view, there's another view of the town, of this small city, there are like, you know, less people here than in Tallinn. Um, we haven't gone to Tallinn because... I think there's no point of going there yet. The cases here, the coronavirus or the COVID-19 cases here are rising. I think they're like the first or the leading country in Europe that is that has like high cases of COVID. So yeah, go. So I see here, but I'm near the statue already. I don't know what I like, like what I hate or like less. Um, is it the snow or the mud or the wet ground? Um, they said it's really fun or interactive. 
Oh my god, my... Grabe. It's so windy. It was a good walk, but it's really freezing. My hands are really cold. Um, I think I'm going to go back now. There's not much to do. I just want to go out because I haven't gone out for a while for a long walk. This is the longest I've walked for like a few days. So this is the statue again. And this is the castle. So they're just nearby. So if you're visiting here, you can visit. 